Vivi on winner's side. No, Vivi, Vivi played beautifully today thus far, but now he maybe has his greatest opponent yet. Not just the buzz, but the buzz after the loser's tail. After, you know, dropping out a little bit earlier than people would think on winner's side, so you got a lot to come back from. Vivi opting to go for Hero instead of Lucario. Yeah, and I, I can totally understand that. I feel like Min Min can shut down all of Lucario's yep. strengths, you know? Lucario wants to make you come to him. Mm -hmm. And Min, Min, Min Min's like, totally fine not doing that. And I honestly, at this point, I feel like Phoebe's hero is like just as good as Lucario. Like the way like he's able to like confidently use hero against mm -hmm. the bad matchups, it, it's really good to see him find a secondary that like he finally feels like compliments so to one another. Yeah. It's, it's a yin and a yang thing kind of happening, you know? But Both cheese. <laughs> but... Just trying to find a way to be able to get a big hit here. Has to be an idea with the falling quarter, but um, you only have one frame to actually hit neutral get up before somebody else can press something. So, Vivi pressed a little bit too soon. Did not get the fair. Just trying to find a way to be able to land. And his manipulation of his full hops and his double jumps is so solid. His spacing is so precise. And that dash in on the like landing uh, dragon fair right there was so good. Like he knew that that once that hitbox was thrown out, you could run under it where the noodle is, and there won't be a hitbox. Oh Able to psych up up to that. Now, I mean, Vivi's playing amazing. This might be the best I've ever seen Vivi play. Yeah. Now his all of his jumps. But he has connected more up tilts than I have ever seen him connect. Uh, with Hilo. So he's playing meticulously, he's playing carefully, he's able to get Accelerator, which means what? That means you can run in, that means you can jump in, baby, and you can space up here on shield safely by the time that you drift away. Vivi is kind of hanging out. Almost. I right hear. It's, it's interesting, you know, it's almost, you know, kind of how similar how we saw earlier with like the buzz's Olimar, you can't really give him space because then he gets the yeah. double purple going. Very similar story with Hero. You can't really give him space. You know, Min Min, obviously not a character that's going to be playing aggressive, but the buzz might have to kind of be like pushing the agenda a bit more. Stay constantly in a range where the arms can stop BB from shielding. It looks like he's doing that. Yeah, and, and his follow-ups have been amazing. Already evening up this percent. Vivi just stalling a little tiny bit with his double jump. Tries to catch uh, his next option with side B. Recognizes that he didn't get it, so he immediately released it. But yeah, like I feel like in this game, if it's like Steve, if it's Hugo, those are the ones that you always have to go in against. And this uh, psych up, up tilt again, the neutral air dodge on the platform right there was so precise with Pixelorado. Like, just a beautiful positioning. And this could be so huge if you can get a nice percent lead going with oomph. Oh no, was not able to get a zoom out, and as a result, just ended up being edge guarded to death. Hero's recovery without zoom is genuinely pitiful, especially if he has to come back from deep. He's just a big, vulnerable target. And I feel like all VV wants is Accelerado. Like once he gets Accelerado, then he plays the game. Uh, that's that's how I've been feeling. His game plan is he even like had a menu with Oomph and just totally stopped. I feel like the Oomph doesn't matter if you don't have the speed to use it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and jab that time around using it to cover the spot dodge in case he was unsure of the neutral oh. getup timing. Beautiful stuff from okay, all three. <laughs> <gasps> what, what, uh, blah, blah, blah. Did you see all of that hit lag? Yeah, so something interesting. Oomph, uh, Oomph like up dare instantly breaks a full shield. So I believe that's what VB was mostly hoping for right there. The buzz just getting hit with it was actually a blessing because if he shielded that, that was game. Yeah. It's just balancing this versus a void. You just got to be able to take that damage at that point. And now all of a sudden, this is a completely even game, not actually getting the B reverse of it. Yeah. That was, uh, or maybe he didn't want to like, get it reflected by the buzz. Yeah, I'm, uh, that. That honestly could be it, um, but definitely doing it to the right. Come on. Oh, no oomph. Gonna have to go in a ledge situation. And oomph, or, sorry, not zoom, not oomph. Um, zoom's actually so nice. <gasps> Kaboom! <gasps> what? BB. What kind of cheating did BB just BB employ? BB thanking the gods. The gods want BB to win the Xeno. BB's one game away from winning Xeno. Has BB ever won a Xeno? I, uh, I'm sure. No. Uh, no? No. And this is one of the most stacked ones today. With look, look at this, look at this. If Vivi wins this Xeno, he will not only have won Xeno, he would have been number one and number two in New, in New York in the process. This this is crazy. Uh, I wanna see this one more time, because of just how funny this is. Yeah. Look, 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 look how silly this is. He's got Kaboom, he loaded it up, and it's over. I need to know Vivi's like SAT reading score, because he, he read that Kaboom real fast in a tense situation. Bah. 
popped it. Oh, and I love I love Hugo's face. Yeah. This. Hero got hit, but he was smiling and the, got hit. The zoom in timed in with the fade. That was an excellent transition. That was so good, Devin. Amazing stuff. Higher house is 2,000. Higher house. Higher house. We got a good place out here. Okay. And I'm like getting nervous for VB. I wanted to win this. <laughs> like, He's on a village of two owing the bus. I know, I know. It's so close. He's got to just stay composed. And I feel like he's been playing so hot right now. I feel like he, he, he has that in him to stay super mm -hmm. focused. And both of them just like sharing the same brain cell in that moment. Both of them want the falling neutral <laughs> of the same exact timing. Ended up trading. Vivi needs a way to be able to get out of the corner. So aggressive. Finds it. And now has the buzz playing on the back foot. Oh, and I, he had the kaboom, and I think the buzz saw that he had the kaboom, um, and tried to go for a run of grab, but the buzz actually aired out just the platform, which would have been hit by the kaboom. So maybe she'll just done. Finding an excellent back heel right there, and another kaboom. Is that going to be able to take it? Yes, it is. And look at this lead: 82 plus 92 oh. is nothing to sneeze at. Psych up right now could be really nice. Okay, just getting that fair. We'll take that fair. We'll take it. Pretty fair. The buzz, I like how safely the buzz is playing. He's just going through like a lot of jump callouts in a really like nice and retreating fashion. But that's dangerous because if you whiff that, Levy can just take that stage away from you. He can just play the long game and slowly get closer to you inch by inch by inch until all of a sudden Hugo is up in your face. Oh, and that was unfortunate. I feel like we did not want to land on that platform mm -hmm. right there. Um, and so yeah, like we were saying, uh, one thing that's interesting, we saw Vivi use it a bit. <gasps> oh, what? Never mind. Oh, oh my okay. lord, Vivi. <gasps> that flame smash is this could be huge. It. Just not even choosing to commit out there. I respect that. I like that a lot. You know what? Gets the parry, but does not actually find the next option because it's still going to be a bit of a guess. But um, what I was going to say earlier before we got the Accelerado is um, BB's been using side B this game, and that's actually like a move that can literally outrange Min Min. Uh, so it's like actually a really interesting way to contest. And you can't you can't interact with side B. You're not hitting that move. Mm -hmm. So So... It really could be the, the complete opposite component to perfectly counter Min Min in a lot of these situations. It can result in a lot of favorable trades for Vivi. Oh. And that air dodge, you had to. Yeah, you had to. Very statistically likely you would die. And that's a dead... Okay, Vivi is at 40% with a stock lead and one stock away from winning Zeno with a win on 1 and 2 in New York and the buzz at that. Oh, that was really tricky. Oh my goodness, but all of his approaches are getting called out now, maybe getting a little bit too aggressive with it as the buzz just keeps on smacking him forward over and over. There it is, him inching that space. He's not forcing it. Oh, and this is really bad. Vivi had 40% that stock and did not get a single hit in. Mm -hmm. And now, losing. Just dashing, just jumping back and forth, trying not to focus it again. He slowed down the pace of the game. Second stock, he got a little bit too aggressive, and the buzz hit him for it so hard. Now, how is Vivi going to be able to get this back? <laughs> going to zoom real quick. Did not change too much. I feel like the name of the game right here is find a side B to give yourself time to menu. Because right now, the buzz is not giving Vivi any time. And the buzz is not finding any big hits, only like a little hit of the Ram Ram, but no like big follow ups into Dragon. Look at that, wait. Vivi didn't immediately press a button. He waited for the bus to air dodge or something. They're both playing so meticulously. Oh. So tense Mama right here. Mia. Vivi, you, you know he wants this, you know? It'd be so cool if we got this. Oh, that was a really good pivot graph for the bus, though. Yep. Tries to go through the jump read. Now Vivi is in a full position still just to be able to up you back on. Uh, but then, ram ram, zoom. No zoom. No zoom. No zoom. <laughs> Oh, oh geez. man, that is tragic. And it's got to be so disheartening for Vivi because you had a really nice lead that game, too. Yeah, no, that was that was a really good lead. That was... Oh. He had that stock lead, and he only did 48% after that for the rest of the game. I'm, 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 I'm sad for Vivi, but, but I do just think that the buzz kept his cool, kept his patience. He didn't overcommit. All he did was just hit Vivi. As soon as Vivi got Accelerado, it's like he got Accelerado in his own veins. He was he was holding in, he was dashing in, he was jumping in, and, and the buzz was just able to, to consistently keep him out, saying like, hey, we're not gonna have any of this. Not gonna make sure you get in right now. I'm gonna make sure I'm constantly keeping you out. I, like like that jump in. Like Vivi uh -huh. had a great idea, but but the buzz got really comfortable with his micro spacing and his walkbacks. Min Min has the ability to do that.
Yeah, one thing I want to see more from VV, uh, I feel like Saibi's more, uh, could be really helpful. Saibi really did work when, like, he was able to find it. And also, I was going to say, the fact that VV won game one, this counter pick is huge. The small battlefield give him very little time to shield, you know, and that's why Debus was able to get those next last two stocks. The actually of space of PS2 is going to be good because he can run away, pull many, he can run away, charge up neutral B as well. So, um, it's like, if it's, if it's like mid, if it's like a middle sized stage, I just feel like Min Min occupies all of it. If it's a big stage, there are some dead zones that even she can't do. And also, like, Betty Blast zones definitely help out. Uh, I totally agree right now. Okay, side B, look at that. Gives him so much time. Look at, like, two menu cycles, unfortunately. No uh, significant buffs in those menus, but still. Just letting all those hit his shield. Vivi is playing this matchup really well, I want to say. He, like, he found like a really good space for himself to occupy. Maybe he needs to step a little bit further back. The buzz is like slowly taking stage away from him. And now the buzz. He's the only 20 mana. The buzz. Oh no. Okay. Had enough to be able to make it back on. That four leader was huge because he has a little bit more MP to play around with. Zoom is back on. And the buzz gets the guess. Gets it with the megawatt. Vivi just opting to up be back on. Okay. Now this is really huge for VV. Get something going. We haven't seen Debuzz do that all set. And Landing now really the tilt. Yeah. Slowly starting to maybe settle in VV. I feel like was composed as soon as he locked his head back. That's typically an indication of that. Typically. The way that Debuzz is camping under these platforms too, he's making it so difficult for VV to jump in at all. The buzz just is really good at reacting to the zoom. Like, Min Min can literally, like you just saw right there, do one to the right and left, but it covers a really good chunk of where zoom is going to put you. And yeah, that jump a bit telegraphed because, like, right after Accelerado, you're going to want to. Everybody knows. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you had a pretty unique distance, but you can punish that too. Wow, Vivi has not played. Vivi has not been playing this game at all. And Vivi also has not been able to get anything off Accelerado. That's really. Game one was, it was so strong um, and just totally blowing up the buzz, but. Okay, right he needs now. Zoom. Ah, oh, does not get it. I feel like Vivi has had really bad luck with Zoom today. Uh, yeah, at least this game for sure. Um, no, that crab actually reached. <gasps> and what a ram ram there too, just to be able to hit that. And now Vivi just struggling to be able to get out of this corner. He has, I feel like this PS2 counter pick has just not worked to his favor at all. The buzz has been using these platforms against him. Yeah, I feel like the PS2 counter pick only works when like the buzz has to like make something happen. But now it does that point where he really doesn't, and um, it's wow. now like Vivi's the one who's trying to make something happen, and it becomes next to impossible. Ah. A disheartening three stock right there. <laughs> yeah, he needs he needs a breath. He needs, he needs to slow it down. He needs to think about why did I just win game one? Why did that happen? Why was I winning game two as well? You know, it really just like you have what it takes to beat the buzz, and that's very clear right here. It's just like a matter of not letting yourself get in your head. But I feel like his approaches were better up until now. Yeah. But this time around, all of his jumps were caught. All I of his dashes were caught. He, he seems really scared. He seems like not having confidence in his approaches. And DeBuzz just like, if you're not really confidently approaching Min Min, you're going to get stuffed out by something. You have to commit to it. You have to know when Min's, you like, you can, you have to get a read on when Min Min's going to do something. Switching to the white haired hero, going Super Saiyan. Still sticking with PS2. I wonder, I wonder like, what the play is. Finds a really big neutral leg, but does not actually get the tech chase on the platform. Either way, sets it up again. Maybe swinging a little bit too soon, not like resetting the way that he used to. I like the, the um, quick charge, first charge of the side B on the tech chase right there from BB. I haven't seen that too much. Oh, excellent spot dodge there, but I don't feel like the buzz has any buttons fast enough to actually cover that. So like... It, it, that spot dodge kind of just put Vivi in a wings position, if that makes sense. Not sure if it did a whole lot for him. Uh. That's a. Uh, speaking of that, uh, right there, I feel like not been using any menu uh, projectile spells too much. 
I feel like menu's solely been used to like fish for uh, Accelerado, which oh, obviously no. is good. But maybe trying to use spot dodge. A little bit too greedy with the F smash. A spot dodge would have been able to go through it because he didn't even delay it at all. Not getting the zoom out as he had too much drift and ended up drifting off to his death. He needs to get the edge guard, but then the buzz just opts to dip low. Ooh. A little cheeky right there. Oh, that was unfortunate. Accelerado seems to be his best friend. That is his end. That is his opening. What a landing. <laughs> that parry on the like, boom. I don't even think it would have hit because you know the parry hurt box. It's like it's area. like it's a lot bigger than, than, than you know you and the shield, so. Oh, no punish on that whip grab. Jumping to get away from it. I like that immediate up tilt afterwards because that back here is just spaced and timed so safely. Okay, VV was able to wheel it back in, only at 35%. Yeah. Axel I feel like, is going to be his best friend. It's every hero's best friend, it seems. But in this matchup specifically, yes. when you're getting gate kept like this. And look at, I mean, yeah, Oomph literally did nothing. <laughs> it was um, just let VV get even more zoned out, it seems. And wow. A couple side Bs that like barely whiffed have been so tragic for BB and ugh, now it was like only 30% down the stock, 114. Oh my goodness, BB just not able to get a single hit that stock, immediately dying. The buzz looking like gatekeep right now. Mm -hmm. BB just trying to go bust, but not happening. Buzz with some gaslighting right now. Uh, oh. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's just like constant slow gatekeep. For it, for it to be gaslighting. It would need to be some cheatery afoot. Ah, he's trying. He's trying to get it right now. He's trying to get it right now with the dragon hit. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like it's like a fire, you know. I like I like the attempt. That was, that was, that was good. Wow, VV VV has not found a single in dashing and is running in. This is a zero to death. A very slow, sad zero to death. Oh, there we go. There we go. Finds a full side B. Ah. <sighs> It's, it's really, I think, a lack of confidence from DB in his gameplay is making it so he's just like doing like scared force approaches on DB. Wow. And it's so easy to stuff it out. Beautiful DI though. Still has some soul in him. Still has some DI and, you know, hasn't totally given up. If somebody like lost his spirit to DI, then you know it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> BB, BB keeps on trucking along, finds the up tilt, right. tries to shark out this landing, but then backs up a little bit. I'm so surprised that the side of me didn't connect. The buzz. It's so strong right there for Min Min. It quite literally covers just the entire space a character can flow. It's really important to be against you. Otherwise, it could just be game over. I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like a whole lot. Um, VV is struggling. That's what I feel. I feel, I feel, I feel VV's pain. I feel, I feel a little hurt right now, too, because it's like... I feel like Vivi's thinking about game two of the first set still. I feel like that's still in Vivi's head. Still in Vivi's head that he had a really good, nice lead, you know? And it's hard to shake that. It's hard to shake blowing such a big moment of it, like your career, you know? Winning as you know is hard. He's got a little Tekken music happening. So, you know, he's, he's hype. He's trying to hype himself You know up what? Let's get some Macharinos if you still believe in Vivi, okay? Let's let's not let this flame die, okay? He's obviously he's going to the Lucario. He's going to the tried and true. You believe in Vivi? Just Matrino. Mm -hmm. Show some support. Show some support. He's going to get the Matrino pot regardless for a few seconds. So. But now, if you, if you give him Well, okay. So look how you switch. Last game. So you got it. You, potentially last game. So you got to try to mix it up just a little tiny bit. Hugo wasn't working out. So I, I, I like the switch. It's I, working I out. I do too. I, I mean, his Lucario was playing literally like perfect <laughs> against mm -hmm. Nixie, against Zamba. Uh, oh my god. And he was like, he won like Lucario Rob. That matchup's pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. And Min Min, granted terrible as well, but like, I but don't know. his movement, the way that he's been utilizing his air speed, also excellent use of the bounce there. Yeah, that was clean. That, that was a really good spacing on his uppy. I think in moments like these, he just gotta go to the try and true. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I think he, there is like a certain range where you can like bait out a reflect the Min Min, because you can just like downbeat. You know, you can down be on reaction. So if you're going through like long range neutral beast, it's something to be constantly mindful of. He, he just kicked that ball. <laughs> the, oh. Ooh. That dragon, so strong. Like it lasts such a nice amount of time at the ledge, two frames. Ooh, tries to go ahead and do the dash attack after the parry, but you can't do an immediate option. You just gotta get closer. You gotta respect the fact that Min, Min doesn't really have the best, quickest options. You just gotta get closer so that you can inevitably find the, uh, the hit. Beautiful coverage, pretty much. Cover everything besides Gib attack, yeah. 
Ivy just looking for this big hit right about now, and I don't think that forward is intentional. Might have been a back hit. Yeah, for sure. I definitely don't see a reason to do it fair right there. But, you know, this, like, the struck mm. that um, counter, if you don't know, is based on aura, not based off the hit. So it's going to be really weak right now. Yep. But eventually, it can be a deadly, deadly weapon. Like and right there now. it is. Wow, I, I really like the confidence to just throw another counter out because, like, the buzz. He knows that the buzz is going to swing. Yeah, this whole set, the buzz has had no reason not to swing. And now he's finally giving yeah. him one. And even if, like, just to put that fear into buzz, if not swinging, now you can maybe run in a bit more, you know? Like, if the buzz isn't going to press the button. And Lucario's, oh, excuse me, Vivi's movement. I've, I've just intertwined the two in my mind. Is, is really solid. He's maneuvering around the stage so safely. He's getting a couple of hits of the projectiles in more than the buzzes. And that's what really counts. Ooh. He's getting these hits. He's finding these ins. He's finding these openings with all these big oh. reverses. That's the back end. Is he going to be able to get this uh, uh, edge guard? He is not, but the pressure does not stop. He Vivi is, has a slight lead. He has not given up. <laughs> he said, oh. the hero is old news, but I'm the best Lucario in the world. Amazing coverage. You gotta always respect the fact that Ram Ram can cover behind. Vivi on his last stock right now. He can make the impossible happen. It is Lucario. That is the cliche, the commentary cliche, but it is a cliche for a reason. Because it is true. And he is Lucario wielded by someone who is so good at optimizing every single touch with this character. This is gonna be so good if right here only 5%. That, oh, this figure was huge. He needs to be cognizant of these aggressive options as the buzz uses to keep himself safe, uh, getting back to the stage. <laughs> this music's so intense. I feel it. <gasps> oh! oh! And again, that's a that's the issue with like Greninja Lucario counters, right? Because because ultimately you can like dodge them sometimes. Oh! No! That's what awesome. a tragic way to end. Such an amazing run. Can we give it up for Vivi? Uh, yeah. If you're in chat, just, I don't know. Say, let's say, say let's go Vivi in chat, mm -hmm. you know. Did Good an try. amazing run. Um, beat Zamba, beat Nick C. Made it to winner's side of Grand Finals. Almost beat the Buzz. Played amazing, you he know. He played his heart up. Yeah, he, he he's going to keep going up in the New York PR. I'm a Vivi fan. If you're not a Vivi fan, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. But the Buzz, king of New York gonna stay that way beating zamba beating numbers beating dv beating nixie great great losers run being singy as well in the losers run i felt that pain by the way i felt i felt, I that, felt pain that in dv yeah it's, it's like so it's much. like you up one game winning side and then it all like fell apart eventually and he did amazing he did this is you know i would argue one of his best runs to date yeah period he's got amazing wins under his belt he honestly that last game against the Buzz 2 looked so so doable as it well. It did.